Billy Sean, who disappointed to get straight up so. Um, another thing I, I think the feeling is a big step forward in the week and a big step back was today. So was the main feeling. I thought, you know, after a, a, a really good, uh, strong second half against Everton and to win that game and to come down here and, you know, didn't quite find the moment, didn't quite find the edge that I thought we could build from that performance. In a week, lot of games and all that, but at the end of the day, there's not that much in that performance apart from taking the chances and, and finding better clarity in the front third, which is going to slow our season. And you know, the, the, the lack of real clarity when we get in an attacking position. I'm not just talking about crossing them, I'm about good passing positions, um, you know, momentum running onto things and, and finding passes and finding movement. Um, you know, we haven't done that as well again today, and I think that's been the story of the season. Well, so I've got to say that some sums up the sums up the feeling about the new. Yes, well, so far, I mean, look, we've got to change that. Quite obviously, we've got eight to go. You know, the, the underriding thing, the facts of the matter are that before the Everton game, the league table looks almost identical. Apart from these, obviously, they've got three more, but they were bottom, so that's not as effective, um, you know, or, or as effective to our world. Um, so the, the league table hasn't really changed. Well, it hasn't changed, but you're a game down, and it was a game that we felt that we could come here and win. So did you create enough from the sort of territory? And well, the, I mean, look, from. Uh, They've had two cleared, not the line, but three yards out that were going in. The kick makes a big save at the end. Vince tries to knock one back for Barnsley right at the end there, and you never know. Um, obviously, Maxwell's chance in a goal one. I mean, you know, they've got to go in. You know, this, at this, well, at any stage of the season, we had moments like that. Starting with the very first game, you were there, Chris. We played Brighton. We could have been, should have been three net three at half time, and I don't think that would have been a disgrace in that day. We were nil nil, um, and then we ended up losing, losing two one, and that's been kind of where it's been. Today, similar but different. I don't think we ever looked particularly in loads of trouble. Um, they had a couple of breakaways. They get a, a lucky one, which I'll take a lucky one. We'd all take a lucky one, you know, it's a deflection. Um, and then the second one, we, we're opening up the game to try and take it on. And we've had a golden chance to change the whole feel of the game. And I didn't take it. So that's been the most frustrating thing for me because it's not a million miles away from the performance that, you know, compared to other performances, the scoring goal and having the freedom to do so, that's been the biggest marker for us. You started well. I mean, you've you had this sort of issue, issue with your quality of players from the edge of the area from set play. Uh, no, I don't think we have statistics behind the season, but Jack Bean was the one that leads the place. Oh, two, 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 two. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you responded well to, to, to falling behind. I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's a lack of response. I don't think there's a lack of effort. And um, three in a week, travelling and all that. There's, there's not a lack of effort. There's not a lack of commitment. It's you know, you can harp on about it all the time, but making chances and creating chances and taking them, that, that's that's the biggest thing in the game, and the, that's the money shot. Our base to work from and our, our team play has been, has been pretty good. Now it's been today, we've come away, we've, we've had more possession than we normally have away from home, we've, we've opened up chances, we've got into great areas at times, particularly because they're quite open on transition. Um, finding that last pass, finding that, that slide pass, finding that, that delicate pass, finding the, the whip, finding the cross. I mean, Dwight's got a brilliant ball in. And I'm pleased for Dwight Malone because he's only great. I thought he was terrific. I thought he came on to make really positive and affected the game. Um, we had to get Aziz done and so much work for us, and you know his age and his commitment to the cause, but he's carrying knocks and all sorts, which is unfortunate with the, the game schedule. So we had to get him off and try and give him a bit of a break. Um, so yeah, the freedom to go and score a goal, you know, that's been the, the biggest thing all season. Um, if anything, I'd argue, and I told the players this that. When these go against you, like today, more people write you off, not us, but more people on the outside. So I said, if you ever want freedom and, and that mentality that everyone's kind of giving you no chance again, well, then it'll come our way, and it is doing. So I said, if you ever going to take it on, then now's the time just go, well, if everyone thinks we've got no chance, then what's the worst that can happen? So how about using that wisely? And we take on the next eight games with that bit more freedom and that bit almost like de depressurizing it from the outside world and going, look, I don't think you've got a chance, lads. So therefore, let's take it on. Well, it, it's certainly changing. Um, you know, Brentford had a big win today. Um, obviously, Everton had a big win. Um, does it guarantee the whole season? No, they know that. We know that. Um, a lot to play for still. We're still right in there, whichever way you look at it. Because, like I say, Wednesday was the same points value from where we were, where Leeds were, etc., etc. So you're not going to lie down in the last eight games, are you? So. No, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's been any of that all season. I mean, there's been no acceptance of, of what's going on. We've we've been working, we've been diligent, we've been trying to keep players fit, get them fit, keep them sharp, and take on each challenge. And I think that bit's been been clear. It's it's the the, the 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 freedom in the front third, particularly, to go and open teams up. And that's where we've been a bit nervy, and that 
it's a, it's a hard thing to measure, uh, to be honest, but you know it. You know it as a staff member, you know it as a manager. You can sense it when the cross is not quite right, the, the commitment to the cross, the commitment to the finish, that sort of thing, the movement. You know, the, the, it comes with nerves, it comes with not nerves as in when you're playing, of course, but that kind of um, sort of the freedom, if you like, to play comes from when you're confident and you're doing well. And of course, it's difficult to be confident and do well when you're not at the league of it. Um, but, but you're the only ones that can create that. You're the only ones, you know, as a person and the team, we're the only ones that can create that feeling. You, when you're out there, or me, manager and the staff, we have to create that confidence. And that's going to be the challenge over the next eight games. Will you have to pick up Maxwell after that miss, or is he just going to have to? No, I don't think so. I mean, look, I always, I always get on players when they're not in the right area. He's in the right area, you know, and he's he's shown that he'll get in the right area, and he's shown that he'll score goals. So, I'd be more, I'd be more annoyed if Dwight put in a, a fantastic ball like that and he wasn't there. I'd be more annoyed with that than the fact that he's in there to try and score a goal. Well, there, there you go. That's the challenge of football, and that's where the focus is clear. You know, the, the last one doesn't guarantee the next one. How frustrating was it, Sean, to concede early, given you sort of built up a little bit of belief and there's a lot of euphoria on, on Wednesday night and then you were sort of 1-0 down for 10 minutes in? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, a, it's an unlucky one, and, and we take a lucky one, and we haven't had that many this season. You know, it's, it's a good block, and it hits him on the shin and spins around the corner and goes in. So, not a lot wrong with the organisation or how he's gone about it. Brownie's tried to get a block on. That happens. We speak about fine margins a lot, and does it sort of, I think you've sort of touched on this already, but does it just come down to that? That lack of quality and just not being perhaps quite good enough in the, in the final third cost the piece. So it's delivering it. There's a difference. It's not a lack because we've had years of being in the Premier League and we've found them moments. So it's delivering it. There's a difference. Matt Lighting back in the side today, just sort of thoughts with that performance as well. Yeah, I thought he did well today. I, I think it would be a bit more experience. Connor's learning as he goes, you know, in the Premier League, I mean. Um, had 11 appearances, just thought he'd had a couple of quiet ones, just finding it a bit tougher. Um, the other night against Everton, I think Lau's been waiting and I thought he delivered a good performance today. Things change quickly, of course, we've maybe alluded to after, after Wednesday night. I think you played three times before Leeds play again. I think Everton only played once in that, that period as well. So there is an opportunity for it to look completely different again. Absolutely, given, given absolutely. Possibly. And that'll be the focus. You're absolutely right. And that will be the focus. You know, it's nothing's done, nothing's agreed, nothing's finished. It's now time to re regroup, if you like, the mentality because it was so strong against Everton, particularly second half. So it's never far away. And take that into the next one again. So as you said, it's, a, it's for us to change what's going on, not for all the, all the other teams. Last one for me, 12 hundred in the away end today, stuck with you as probably always do. Just look, they've been amazing. Long journey, Sunday. Yeah, I could talk yeah, yeah, about every, game. every game. They've been, look, I, I, would never, I would never question our fans. I never have them since my first eight months at the club. They've been absolutely amazing. They continue to be. Um, and that's going to be important, of course, particularly in the home games, away games. It's tough when there's as many as we bring. It's still tough to bring that atmosphere for them. Uh, with own crowd, although they try their hardest, and yet, and yet away, uh, sorry, at home, that we want the, uh, the fans to stay with that edge that they give us. And I think I think it was excellent against Everton. I think really highlighted the fact against Tottenham as well at home. They're going to be important for the fans, are, but they've been terrific. I guess a massive to them is you've you very much still in this. You're not going to you're not going to judge the fans. Well, like I say, look, you, you don't you don't want to not get a result today. You know, these have had a, a, a tough season, and we felt that we could come down here and step on, which we we kind of did in patches without finding the moment. But that one's gone now. But the fact is, the league table looked just the same before we played Everton. It was a really big, a really, really big win against Everton. We all know that, really, and that's showing itself now. So we are still in there fighting. We are still in there. The league table hasn't changed dramatically. So now it's about taking the next eight games on. Sean, sure, has uh, Ben Lee progressed all over the weekend? Has he got a chance to work? We'll have to wait and see how he goes this week. But he's back on the grass, which is good, um, and, and hopefully that'll continue to be good. And, Sure, just on um, you brought the picture on for the vault. What was thinking behind that one? Was it close between him and Jay? Or yeah, I mean the, the, the challenge we got the two centre forwards. You're always looking for them to link and be slightly different. With Jay and Vout, they did ever so well at times against Everton, but obviously they can be our similar-ish type players. Whereas Vids is quite different, as you know. Um, so we're just trying to perfect to that. Vids is building up his fitness, you see. So you know we we're, were wondering could we get him on at half time? Then you think, well, can he last that and deliver? You know the energy that it takes uh, after having a, a quite a long injured period and not very much um, first team football of course um, or development games for that matter so you know trying to bring him into the team trying to get him to be effective um, and also delivering performance whilst staying fit basically and Val's still adapting I've said that all along I said about Maxwell I said about Val Val hit the ground running a bit like Maxwell had a bit of a dip Maxwell did he looks like he's beginning to come back again Val's maybe just having that quiet spell before he comes back in because he's a really good player 
can you can you sense the frustration from him just in terms of he's not getting the goals that you know he's so used to scoring? Well, I think to be honest, it's, it's, a, it's a strange positive. It is a positive, but it's a strange thing to mention. He's almost too team bound at the minute, and we've got to get him to focus on him, you know, his game. So he, he's almost thinking of everything, you know, about the team. And I need to be this for the team. I need to be that for the team. In an honest way, in an authentic way. I mean, that's the type of character he is. But it's almost like right, okay. Stop, stand still. We need to focus on your game and how you can bring yourself to, to work with the team. And I think he's still adjusting to that. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Thank Thank you. Thank you.